Hello everyone, welcome back to another Tracy Tries Tutorials. Uh, sorry I've been MIA all week, I've had a pretty run week. Um, that being said, mm -hmm. I wanted to get something up. I haven't even prepared a feeling and not feeling video, um, which I liked almost everything I got last month really, mm -hmm. with the exception of um, mm -hmm. one thing that one or two things that, mm. yeah, but, uh, mm. my hair's crazy today. Mm. Short disclaimer, I do have a special needs child. If you're new here, uh, you'll hear him clapping in the background and making noise. He's jealous of anyone or anything that takes my time from him. Okay, mm. on a good note, uh, if you watched my previous Ulta haul video, you saw that my mm. blushing mm. in Bali mm. uh, palette what mm. came in... Mm. Wow. mangled mm. well I went to Ulta this past weekend and got a new one mm. so we're gonna get to play with this today and I am finally going to try out my masquerade mm. palette from Juvia's Place which I have not even touched yet which surprises mm. me and scares me a little because it makes me wonder if I'm actually going to reach for this much or not. But 40% off. How can you beat it even if you don't use it a lot? Anywho. Okay. So just ColourPop uh, white uh, concealer on my lids here. And my BH number 5 I'm going to take this, I'm, I, like I said, with Juvia's Place, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names because I will just probably offensively mess it up. I'm going to dip into that and put that right through my crease and work that back and forth. I'm not really sure what I even want to do yet but I want to do some little pops of color nothing too crazy because I'm kind of clean today and I'm expecting some packages coming in for this month um yeah I just uh I just want to get to make it on, feel better about myself, and get my day started. Now on a BH number eight, I think I'm gonna go in to this corner shade right here and just deepen up my outer V and uh, get my mirror straight here and bring this up into the crease just a little. I take a very light hand with Juvia's Place palettes when I dip in because they are very, very pigmented. And then I'm just going to start to work that extra product right into my crease. Just like that. Now I'm just going to take this little tiny, my that thing won't stay on, but uh, mm -hmm. BH number 10 mm -hmm. brush, and I'm going to do a little half cut mm -hmm. crease situation, because like I said, mm -hmm. I want mm -hmm. these colors to, did you see how bad I just messed that up? Really? I love having to go back and fix stuff. Alright, let me fix this and I'll be right back. Okay, so that just ended up pretty much a full cut crease situation going on here, and I didn't get that corner padded out real good. But, um, gosh, these mm. colors all look so party. Uh, but I think I'm going to do a little green situation today. BH number nine. I'm going to try this dry first, because I don't believe I generally have to Gray with Julius Place. Hmm. I'm trying my finger. 
Mm. Okay, there mm. we go. Mm. We all know I like mm. a finger mm. situation. Mm. With these mm. with metallic mm. and shimmer shades, I think it looks mm. so good. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take that second brush we used and kind of blend mm. and diffuse this outer corner situation a little so it doesn't look so harsh then I just swatched off that same BH number nine and I'm going to go into this lightest more like a satin and less like a shimmer I would say so I also started a diet this week just a kind of mm. eat less, watch what you mm. eat type diet. And do diets make you moody? They make me moody. So that's another, you know, kind of Debbie Downer. Because when you like food, like I do, it's not easy to diet. Everyone's like, oh, it's so you just don't eat blah 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 mm. and you lose weight mm -hmm. okay that's for people who eat food because mm. it's a necessity that's not people who eat food because they love food like me mm. and mm. when you love food like me it's almost like an addiction. You know what I mean? It is an addiction for me, I'd say. Because, yeah. I have a really... I'll be riding along the diet train for about four or five months. And then I just am like, I hate the world. I hate everybody that can eat. <laughs> Which is no way to be, but, you know. Anyway. Next up, I'm just going to take my little mm -hmm. Ico sample that I have literally had forever because i got to try to mm -hmm. use products mm -hmm. up before I just start using new ones, I feel like. You know what I mean? Just a little baby wing situation today just to give this look a little something extra. Now I'm using this Tarte uh, base tape that I got. I believe I got this in my Ipsy. I, it was either the Ipsy or the Sephora that I got, but I'm almost positive it was the Ipsy. And uh, it's quite runny. It smells amazing. But uh, I think this primer might be hair well. I have, I still have that sample of the Tarte Found Sealer that I really liked this past winter. I'm still debating on whether I'm going to get a full size because I was wanting to see, which I'm going to try it with this today and my regular primer I think tomorrow and we'll see how it holds up because it's going to be nice, hot, and humid here in Florida the next few days. Yay! I may be a Floridian, but I don't like heat. Another reason why I'm going on a diet, so maybe I'm not so hot all the time. Anyway, let me find that sample because I want to see how it works today. Okay, this is this is really, really a tacky primer, and I just don't think that's going to be good for my oily skin. So just in my T-zone area, I think I'm going to put this Makeup Forever I've been trying out. You definitely... I don't even know that I could recommend this to anyone because, I mean, you have got to get it on, get it in place, and don't touch it because if you keep messing with it, it literally, like, chunks. I don't know how else to say it. It, ch it chunks. It's kind of weird, but, I mean... There's no doubt that it, like, huh, 
Inst it insta dries. I mean, mm -hmm. insta dries. Mm -hmm. And once, once it does, don't you can't keep trying to rub it in or yeah because it will it chunks off. I don't know how else to say it. It chunks off your face. But I, mm -hmm. I can't deny the mattifying properties that it gives you. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to put this in my okay. little tart sound mm -hmm. sealer here. And the sample that I got was light beige 22B. And I think this was actually pretty good for me. We're fixing to find out because, yep, we're, we're going to be dry. All right, I'm back. So I definitely waited for the air conditioner to decide it was going to shut off. And we're going to, this is a kind of light coverage for me. But I love the way it looks when it's finished. I hope this holds up today. And works out for me because um yes I'm gonna use a brush because all the professionals say when you use a brush it gives you fuller coverage so oh this is so light for me but that's okay we're just testing it we're not going anywhere fancy today but oh and I got so mad when I went to Ulta I went because you guys know my NYX is way too light for me too. Well, I was looking at the ones that they had on there and um, when I was swatching them, I thought buff looked perfect for me and I should have listened to myself because I know myself better than anyone. Well, I had asked a lady if they had buffing in the back and you know I'm a talker I like to talk to people sometimes try to be friendly you know what I mean and uh, yeah when I did I told her about the shade that I have that was way too light for me and she convinced me to buy warm vanilla I let her convince me to buy warm vanilla mm -hmm. and guess what it looks like this on me so it's like just two shades darker than the really light one I got. So guess what? Now it's too light for me. I knew I should have just got the bus. Cause mm. now I have to buy, I feel like I have to buy like a couple shades darker than buff and mix it with these and use these up because mm. I'm not about wasting all that product. And it just irritates me cause now I have mm. two full bottles mm. that I have to use up, mm. which I mean, mm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just mm. give one to my daughter and let her darken it also because mm, irritating me. Anywho, the uh, the sun's hiding behind the clouds. I have all the lights turned on and I still feel like it's pretty dark. But, I mean, isn't that just a beautiful finish? It doesn't, it's not full coverage, but I kind of like that sometimes for days when, um, My skin looks pretty good like it does right now, other than this little friend chilling over here, but we're going to pretend like he's not there because, yeah, he's not paying rent and he's fixing to get evicted. Anyway, I'm going to put some concealer on, powder my face, and we'll go on. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sigma E55 little shader brush here. If I can get the palette open, really. Okay. And I'm going to go in with that first shade that I... Not the first one. I'm sorry. I'm going to go in with the second one we used. And keep this... Tap off that extra. As close to my lash line as I can get it. Just like that. Then I'm going to go 
in with this Luxie 209 large shader brush and barely tap into that first shade because I don't want this too too awful dark and buff a little bit of that out just so it doesn't look harsh just like that <clears throat> Can you tell it's hot here today? I guess I'm not going to get filming done without my air conditioner going nuts. Anyway, just want to blow that out a little bit. And then I'm going to take this opportunity. Let me find it because I think this might be the perfect opportunity. I got in my little Ipsy bag um, this little tiny. It's like, a, it's like a lime green, and I want to see how it looks. I may not like this at all. I may be about to mess up this look, but I'm going to do it anyway. Where, where, where is my... There we go. Let me use this BH number 10. It's a very, very tiny little brush, and I want to see... How this looks. Oh, yes. I knew I was going to like that. Well, I was hoping I was going to like it. Um, yeah, I like that better than the uh, mm -hmm. shade I was using out of the Dubious Place palette because it wasn't quite mm -hmm. as bright as what I wanted. <laughs> Your tongue's in the background. He's having a blast this morning. He woke up in such a good mood. I love these days. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Oh, is this, this is by Nomad. And let's see, the shade is. I want to say the shade is. Burl? Maybe the shade is Nomad. I don't know. Can you tell what shade is? Anyway, it's like a like a light pastel -y green. I want to bring some of this up into this look. I just am loving this. Oh, that is such a pretty shade. I mean, that brightened everything up so nice. So, so nice. Anyway, let's get into the blushing and Bali palette. And I think, I think I'm going to try this coral shade. Because it's calling my name. Ooh. I mean, I barely hit my brush in there. Tap that off. And just start to stamp that right on. Ooh, she's pigmented. Oh, I can't remember now mm -hmm. who was talking about this being like the best cheap blush palette ever. But uh yes. I I like it. I really like that coral shade. It almost has a like a glow to it. Almost like it has a tad bit of a highlight. I, I can't say I'm mad at that. I can say that's probably going to end up, I'm going to look in the mirror later and go, oh, girl, what's your cheek blush situation? Anyway, <laughs> and since we're already in this palette, I, let's see what glistening looks like. Actually, I'm going to hold that thought. I'm going to finish my eyes and melt it all together with my Urban Decay because I like to do my highlighting after I finish everything else. Mm. I gotta do something with these brows.
Okay, so I went ahead and finished mm -hmm. pretty much everything else off. And I'm going to take my Sigma mm -hmm. medium angled E70 shading brush. And I'm mm -hmm. going to dip into that uh, glisten shade in this highlighting palette. And mm -hmm. I'm going to see how I like that just mm -hmm. along my brow bone. Um. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Let me get my uh, yeah. let me feel these. I wanna. That's yeah. what they look like. On my fingers and voila. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I should have done it on the back of my hand. Let's try this again on the back of my hand. Mm -hmm. Line them up the same mm -hmm. so we don't mix these colors up. Oh. You know what? I think I might take and see what that middle shade looks like on my high points. So we're going to take sun kissed. I could use a little sun kissed these days. We're going to see what that looks like. Oh, do you see? Is that coming up on camera? Yes, I do like that. I thought that might be a little too dark for me, but no. Nope. I don't think so. I think that looks nice, actually. Hmm. Well, Cupid's so high light going on. <laughs> little on the nose. Mm -hmm. and that's my finished look for today and that completes this video pretty much I hope you guys enjoyed watching today I'm going to try to get up my feeling and not feeling for my products of the month of April. I'm going to try to film that later on this afternoon and uh, I'm going to get Thomas some lunch first, get a little bit of cleaning done and yeah then I'll try to sit down and film that by then. Hopefully we'll see how this Tarte Bound Sealer is going and yeah hopefully right. some of my orders come, start coming in because yeah, uh, the month of May is going to be exciting month, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, from me and Thomas to all of you, we're ho we hope you have a wonderful night or day wherever you are and lots of love. Please take the time to like this video. It really helps out my channel. Um, like, subscribe, comment, tell me. What you think of this look, what you think of the mm -hmm. Masquerade palette. I know it's not a newer palette, but um, it's new to me. So, uh, yeah. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.